making a data script pattern 532 using my KG95 on a 950i knitting machine. Uh, if you look on page 126 of the Stick World 1 book, it is pattern 532. Let me show you. This is the pattern we are trying to make. In this video, I'm trying to show how to avoid a drop stitch. If I zoom in and show you this needle next to zero, and you can see it is dropping stitch. No matter how, how much I try to bring the stitch up using crochet, but it keeps dropping the stitch. And if I zoom in further, let's go out of head fast, right? I'll show you the reason is it's a bent needle. So it is absolutely crucial to make a swatch sample using waste yarn on the needle you want to work before using your actual yarn uh, so that your garment isn't ruined. It is a way to test that all the needles are working fine, they are not bent, there isn't anything wrong. So let me show you, zoom in here, as, and as you can see, this needle here is bent, and if I'll bring it forward, you can see it is slightly bent, and that is the reason for the drop stitch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this needle next to zero, the bent needle, with a new needle so we can see if that is going to mend our problem of drop stitching. Let me just show you again. This is, these are all the drop stitches we've been having from the start. So I'm going to take this needle out and put this new needle in and then let's see if this mend the problem for us. I've taken the bent needle out now and I've replaced it with a new needle. Now I'm going to put the sponge bar back in as I've only taken it halfway out. And let me just show you the other end. Only taken halfway out up till there. Let me just put the sponge bar back in. Now the sponge bar is back in and you can see I've replaced this needle here. This was the bent needle we're talking about. It's been replaced and now we're going to see if changing the needle resolved the drop stitch issue for us. So let me just switch on the garter cabbage. Same pattern as before. I've only I'm going to zoom in to needle zero just to see if it's catching. Just going to let it go for a few more rows before we can see if there is any difference. I'm now going to try to get a closer. You can see it has started changing. Let me take it down. Turn it down. This is a much better angle. So you can see it has started being the garter stick. It's not a dropping stick anymore.
can see here, it started building up again. So no more drop stitches as before. We're going to let it run for 30 more rows. So I'm going to increase the row on the garter carriage. I'll just stop the garter carriage before increasing the row. It's good. Always turn clockwise, never anti clockwise because it will damage the coxins there. Now switching off. I'm going to fast forward the video now until we are done with 30 rows. We are here at the end of our 30 row pattern. As you can see, last 30 rows, it hasn't dropped stitch. The first 30 rows, because with the bent needle, all the stitches were dropped. So we have it resolve this issue here. So if you have a bent needle, it is crucial that you replace the bent needle. It is not a data carriage issue. It is the machine issue. Let me just stop the garlic carriage. Okay. What I'm mentioning here, uh, as you can see, these la uh, the first 30 stitches which we did with the bent needle, all the stitches were dropped. Let me just zoom in to this so I can show you. And as you can see, the first 30 stitches, they were dropped. No matter how much I try to put it up with crochet and transfer tool, it'll keep dropping. Reason being the bent needle, which we changed. And as you can see, last 30 uh, rows, which we did with the garter carriage, no drop stitch. So we have this issue resolved here. That is why it is very important to purchase your knitting machine and garter carriage from you know, a reputable seller who has serviced the machine. The cleaning is not just regarded as service. Uh, service require a thorough cleaning, a thorough checking of all the needles to make sure it is in perfect working order. This is what we do here at Machine For You. We test the products before sending to clients so they don't have to worry about these bent needles they don't have to worry about something going wrong with their items so it is very important no matter from whom you purchase make sure it is a reputable seller uh, who knows what they are selling now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast this off um, this uh, swatch off and show you closely what we have knitted
and here's the sample and again reiterating these are the first 30 rows of damage done needle once the needle's been replaced no drop stitches and this is our pattern 532 and you can see it's the garter stitch and this is the pattern I'm going to show you on stitch world book this is the pattern we were making and this is what we have got yes thank you for watching my video for more videos uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you